Tereta, tereta, tereta. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I'm going to be giving a review of osmosis. So osmosis, I really, really recommend osmosis for your didactic year. And it really helped me out this past year, especially for those of you who are visual learners. I'm a visual learner. I have to be able to see the information, whether it's on a diagram, a picture, or in a video to be able to understand and grasp the information, specifically when it comes to pathophysiology. Um, some of the systems are really hard, specifically, for example, the renal system, um, the kidneys, learning how the kidneys work. That's a really, really hard learning the pathophysiology. So I found that reading the information didn't, I wasn't able to grasp the information. So I had to go and watch videos and osmosis does a really good job in creating their videos. They create really good videos, high quality, and they're made for both medical students, PA students, nursing students, so anybody in the medical field. Mostly they're catered toward medical students, but I think they have really, really good information. They have a discount also for PA students, which I will list below. I paid $200 for two years. I got the two year subscription because I felt like I may have needed, I may need it for my, my clinical year. I just finished my didactic year, but I will let you know whether I used it or not for my clinical year but I definitely used it for my didactic year. I used it every day for my didactic year from the day I purchased it. They have a large array of material you can use and it's very, very organized. So I will give you an uh, insight and I'll go through my account so you can see how it is. But they have it organized into systems and that's how you learn in PA school is through systems. So cardiovascular, respiratory, uh, just gastrointestinal, reproductive, etc. So they have it organized and you're able to watch videos on the pathology and the physiology. So how the system works and the pathology of it. Also, they have really good videos for pharmacology. Um, for those of you who are also visual learners and have trouble memorizing pharmacology or drugs, they have really good videos and they use uh, memory palaces. So memory palaces are pictures that when you're taking your exam, you're able to know the drug because you memorize a picture that was similar to the drug. And they have really good memory palaces for pharmacology also. And they have those also separated for per system. So I really, really recommend their videos. And their videos, like I said, are high quality and they draw. Um, now they do have free videos on YouTube. So you can check out the free YouTube videos and see if you like them but their paid program their paid program has a lot more they have videos and then on top of that they have flashcards and i really really recommend their flashcards i do their flashcards every day and they help me out with pathophysiology pharmacology and my clinical medicine so they're pre-made and they basically test you on high yield content that you will see on the exam so this is where i liked it and it's basically a mixture of everything like i said it's pharmacology, pathophysiology, and clinical medicine. So you're going through the flashcards and it tests you everything. So I really like them. And not only that, the flashcards are usually catered to you. So you go through the flashcards and it'll ask you how, whether you're very sure, unsure, or kind of sure of the answer, medium, high, or low. And then you press on the buttons and then it'll, for the next day, it'll reload the questions, but depending on how many you miss or which ones were most frequently missed, it'll repeat those more often. So I really like that they have a system for the flashcards. So I really, really recommend their flashcards. And they also have practice questions, which are really good. Um, I do their practice questions also before I prepare for exams. So I really, really recommend osmosis. I can't stress it enough. Um, so I will now give you sneak peeks just so you can look at everything and what I use. You can even have a, you can use a trial. They have like a 30 day free trial that you can use and try it. If you don't like it, then you can just cancel it. But I really, really recommend this program for didactic students, specifically if you're a visual person. I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm just really sharing my experience and what has helped me through didactic year. And osmosis is one of the things that I could not have lived with my first year of PA school because it really, really helped me out a lot. And I really, really recommend osmosis for those of you who are in didactic year or who are struggling in didactic year. All right, guys. 
Thanks for watching my videos and I will show that right now in a few minutes, okay? Okay, so this is the Osmosis webpage. So when you go, they actually have different types of videos. So they have basic sciences, videos on organ systems, clinical reasoning, and featured series. I usually use the organ system, so you can click into each organ depending on what module you are on. So if you are in, for example, dermatology, then you can go over the pathology videos, and they also have the physiology videos, and the videos are just fantastic. They have great illustrations. Honestly, I don't really like reading, so all I do is I just watch osmosis videos to learn all the information for my pathophysiology classes specifically and also for my clinical medicine class because since I'm a visual person reading I just I can never grasp by reading but when it is visual in videos I tend to grasp more information and retain it better than when I'm reading so their videos are fantastic they're very detailed and then on top of that after each video they also have flashcards so I really like their flashcards for pathophysiology and I really really recommend them so after every for example disease that is covered in my class I usually just go to the flashcards and I'll save them and you can save them to your QE if you go and you see on your right upper hand you'll see like the lightning bolt and it'll have a number in red that's all the flashcards that you have saved so I really like the fact that it saves all the flashcards in addition, it also has really good videos for pharmacology. So not only for pathophysiology and clinical medicine, they have great videos for pharmacology. I had a hard time trying to remember the medications for pharmacology since pharmacology is all about memorization. And being that I am a visual person, osmosis really worked for me because they have great visuals. So as you can see, they'll put the drugs in picture format that way you can memorize them and remember them better. So over here they're going over the class one antiarrhythmic, antiarrhythmics, I'm sorry. And as you can see, they group them depending on whether it's 1A, 1B, 1C. And then for each one, they will draw pictures that sound very similar to the drug name. That way you can remember them. And this really helped me out when I was taking the exam for pharmacology and I couldn't remember what the name of the drug was. So I really recommend their pharmacology videos also. They have great pharmacology flashcards also. So you're able to save those pharmacology flashcards to your overall flashcards also. Aside from just the pharmacology videos and pathophysiology, they also have clinical reasoning. So I really like that specifically when it, you're going to go to your clinical rotation. The one that you just saw was over emergency medicine. And I really like the fact that it shows you what you need to know about emergency medicine and just a quick review. So I really like that also. They also have really good notes. As you can see here, you'll usually click on the video. And then if you click down, it'll have the flashcards. And then it'll have the high yield notes, as you can see here. And it's something new that I just added. So you click on the high yield notes and you're able to see what Osmosis thinks is important for the module and it's very in-depth and to the point so they're not very long and I really really like them I use some of their notes for some of my exams to study for so they have really good notes now as you can see these are all the flashcards I had saved and you're able to go through the flashcards and I really like that osmosis tells you whether you know the flashcard or not and if you don't know it it'll repeat it for you so I really like that it's able to see which ones you will don't know well which ones you do know well that way it can repeat them over and over again to make sure that you do know the drug so as you can see osmosis has so many things um, you can get a PA school discount that's what I paid for I got it for two years I think it was around two hundred dollars for the two years I'll put the link below for PA school students so they do give you a discount and I really really recommend it as you can see they have so many topics uh, GI, MSK, Neurology, Psychiatry, so almost everything that you're going to cover in PA school they have. And they have a lot of flashcards that are fantastic. And the flashcards go over your clinical medicine, pathophysiology, and pharmacology. So when you're going over your flashcards, you're studying all three of them at the same time. So this is one of the reasons why I really like their flashcards from Osmosis also. So 
Also, as you can see, these were the clinical reasoning. They have the videos on internal medicine, family medicine, etc. And this is just a sneak peek at the flashcards. So you can also download the app on your phone. And this is the app through my iPad. And you're able to do their their flashcards. And it reminds you, if you set the reminders on, it'll remind you that you need to do your flashcards every day. And it'll tell you this is the amount of flashcards you have to do. So that's another cool feature about osmosis. So overall, I really, really recommend osmosis for PA school, specifically if you are a visual person. All right, guys, as always, if you guys like my videos, feel free to comment below, um, give them thumbs up, or if you have any comments or feedback for me, make sure you comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.